Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play Chrono Cross. Last time we fought a number of bosses, trapped a number of elements, and continued to make our way through Fort Dragonia. This time, oh right, I think we've uh, been here once before. No lines of dialogue this time. Let's open this back up and head right back down. Now it gives us the option to go up or to go down. So let's go down. And here, some kind of device. It's a broken eggshell inside. It's not functioning. Broken eggshells. Interesting. Wait a minute. I have an egg. But it's not functioning. Hmm. Well, I guess we can't do anything with that. Now we can go back up. All right, we have completely come all the way around, and for some reason my timer's not going. Bad timer. Going up here causes no cutscene this time. Now, I don't have the same party as last time uh, in the uh, dream sequence at the start of the game, but I did bring Kit. And here, we've got a capsule. I will take and some fights so against some bats and against some dragoons. I guess they really were here. I'm not sure how they got here or why they were able to get in and how we had to do all these puzzles to get through, but uh, I'm guessing maybe they did them earlier. Maybe? Uh, the, are these the privates or the sergeants? These are the privates. Um, these guys are nothing special, but we will eventually fight the yellow variants that have an Electro Bolt common drop. Nothing else particularly interesting about them. They are as weak as they were before, and if I don't miss, I shouldn't have any issue fighting. Uh, I think they have more HP now. I think they have 200, so I probably could have used that on the other one, but eh, whatever. What do we got here? Let's show off Holy Light, why not? To be honest, not only is it powerful, kills instant dead, but it's one of the more cool looking of the elements that we have in the entire game. Not even just the ones we have, of all of them. It's, it's one of the better looking uh, ones in general. Are you going to run away from me again? Didn't you do that in the start, too? Screw you, that. <laughs> it is possible to sneak by that guy. Very, very, very difficult, but it's possible. He's the same Dragoon that we fought before. There's, again, nothing special about him. We can uh, make him fall down. I have rearranged my element setup. We will talk about it in a, a little bit when we find our next uh, big bad to uh, fight. Might as well go for the pilfer. I'm pretty sure we don't get anything from this one. Well, there's a gold earring. I'm guessing that's the rare, because I was like a silver pendant last time. I don't think either of those are of any use. But, uh, that's fine. Easy enough. Or that does no damage. Yeah, this game is not a lot of fun if you don't have Surge. Surge just mop, mops the absolute floor with anyone and anything in his way, and most of the other characters struggle to do anything. Alright, down here... We have a meteor shower. 
Well, Surge mopped the floor with those guys without even having to use an element. They are extremely weak. What's over here? Another treasure, an angel charm, protects against anti-white. All right, let's pop up here. There's a couple of fights. All right, finished off those fights. And if you go over here, you remember what this did. Well, it's not activated yet, so we can't use it quite yet. Let's go over here and... Well, I think it's the only battle with this upgraded version of the sergeant, so we'll show the one of them that there is here. And the fight's gonna go exactly the way the fight always goes. Surge annihilates everything on his own. Yeah, it, if you wanted to do some kind of challenge run, you'd basically just have to not use Surge. And that's kind of a problem because he's in every fight. He's kind of overpowered. But what can you do? Well, these guys are uh, red in it. I thought they were yellow. They were before. Yes, now they're red. And you get a piece of iron for the uh, sergeant, I guess. Must be his rare drop. And a daemon charm. I think we already got one of those. Okay, we're back, and this is the point where you want to run all the way back downstairs and save. Sadly, that respawns all the enemies, though the only one you probably have to fight is the one Dragoon in that awkward hallway, because he's really hard to avoid. It's the only one I had to refight when coming here. But you do want to save before you ever use any trap elements, and I have more trap elements to use here. Oh, wow. By the way, yeah. Boss time. This is one of the more unique enemies in the game, and a pretty cool one as well. And I'm on the wrong part of the walkthrough. There we go. Wanted to make sure I pulled up all the proper notes. This is Bunny Yip. A weird creature. Not exactly sure what you are. First things first, I have three different trap elements and I specifically put them on three different characters so that I have access to them. First being Inferno. You want to trap three of these. I'm gonna throw on fast forward for the majority of this fight. And one thing you're going to want to do, uh, on his first turn, he'll do Magnum Bomb. His second term, uh, turn, he will use Inferno. So make sure that you have uh, gotten that all dealt with. Uh, make sure that you've got Inferno Trap up ahead of time. Build up element power with everyone. Just doing little bits of damage. Uh, Surge, I think he's going to have to wait. The reason why he's going to have to wait is, well, we want to set up the next one. So if we do too much damage, he won't use Volcano, which is the next element that I want to trap. He's got a very set attack pattern that starts with Magma Bomb, Inferno, a couple of physical attacks, Fire Pillar, then Volcano. And I don't want to deal too much damage to him in the meantime. Otherwise, he will not be able to use Volcano anymore. He will find out why. Oh, and Magma Burst, my bad. Actually not even listed as um, one of the things he can cast. Okay, you're going to skip it? You're going to make me restart already. Well, he's supposed to use Volcano. I don't know why he didn't. That's... That's never happened when I tried to farm this before. It's frustrating when all of the work that goes into a test run just completely falls apart when the game decides, oh, no, no, we're gonna, we're gonna change on you. 
Anyway, once you've dealt 400 damage, is how it's supposed to work, but I hadn't done 400 damage yet, is you can skip all those parts of his AI script if you want. Then you need to come in here and do a free fall trap. This is gonna overwrite the uh, other trap there, uh, the volcano one. His first move will be Gravitone. His next move will be free fall, which you will capture. The point of this fight is to come in, get one Inferno, one Volcano, one free fall, run away, heal up, encounter the fight again, get the same thing three times, so we have three of each element, and then move on. Sadly, I'm going to now have to reload because the game is cheesing me. I will show you when... I'm running off of a autosave at the moment. I will let you guys know when uh, I get the guy to use Volcano properly. Hopefully I do not get uh, screwed around for too long. Okay, we're back. I've got two of each of Inferno and Freefall. After fighting this battle about four or five times, I got annoyed and so I went and I looked around to see if there was any changes done to this fight in this version of the game with the remaster. And I learned something! This probably explains a number of things that I've been getting wrong uh, with it comes to battle strategies over the course of the game. They... Please hit. <sighs> they used a different AI script for the enemies in this game as opposed to the original North American release of the PlayStation version of the game. In the remaster, they decided they were going to use the Japanese version of the AI script, which is substantially different than this version, or than the uh, PlayStation version that many of us grew up playing. Now, the problem is, in the Japanese version, this guy doesn't use Volcano. Instead, he uses Magma Burst. So, all my plans of getting Volcano early are null and void, apparently, out of nowhere. I didn't know they did this, and... Yeah, it's just, I don't know why you would make this choice. It seems really weird. Maybe North America is the only one that got a reworked AI script, and so more regions had access to the other AI scripts, so they went with the majority. But that's just still really weird. Anyway, we're going to set up our free fall trap to get access to that in a little bit. We are going to want to steal in this fight, but not yet. We're going to have to wait until the guy transforms before we steal. And what else are we going to do here? I want to do a little bit of damage, but first I want to use Kid and get a couple things up here. We're going to get Eagle Eye on Surge. And I'm not going to go straight for the Iceberg because we really don't need it. Aqua Ball should do more than enough. I don't even know if the HP totals are the same now, so I guess we're kind of swimming in unknown waters for a little bit here. I was expecting that to kill him, but that's fine. Yeah, so this enters his second phase where we're going to get access to free fall. It also turns him from a red innate to a black innate enemy. Now. So yeah, he is now black innate. Going to uh, fail to do anything, apparently. We're going to strengthen Surge. Before this fight gets out of hand, I do need to set up Diminish as well. So let's have... Oh, why did I lose stamina there? That's weird. There's some damage there, and we'll go for the dash and slash. 
some nice damage. Could have done more, but I do need to set up the Minish. There we go. The Minish set up. Then we basically don't have that much left to worry about. I'm going to defend here. We're going to set up Gravitone. It's not really going to do all that much damage. Minish in play. Oddly enough, his Gravitone only targets one, which is really weird. All right, once he's in his black innate form, then you can actually steal from him. We're hoping for that rare steal. We got the common steal, which is another free fall element. The rare steal is a black hole element, which would be incredibly valuable if we were able to pick it up this early. But I guess not. Um, can you please get a turn and do something? There we go. Get my uh, last free fall. So that gives me a total of four free fall elements. Uh, free fall is a unique one. Pretty much all level five elements are. Well, they're usually all are all targeting. Freefall is the only one that isn't all targeting, it's single target, meaning it's your strongest uh, source of elemental damage against a single target. And it is very nice to have access to that on pretty much all your characters. Devil Thunder is, well, giant eye laser. And it hurts. That's with uh, Diminish in play. If you don't have Diminish in play, you are going to have a bad time here. All right, throw Holy Light at him. Yeah, so I'm not sure how I'm going to deal about it. Uh, the previous fight that I was struggling with, the, um, in the previous episode, we were fighting another that. Uh, I don't have any of that. Um, sure. Something. Uh, we were fighting the giant gloop and he wasn't reacting the same way I was expecting. He was supposed to, based on my information. Can you please hit something, Surge? And there goes all my accuracy. Oh, that was almost really, really, really bad. I'm going to have to heal you now. Why is everything going poorly now? Like, I had a whole bunch of strategies. I had no problem with any fights in my test run. And now I'm stuck with them changing everything on me and all my work has gone halfway out the door. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna defend here. Yeah, this guy will use um, Gravitone and Freefall and Devil Thunder and more Gravity Blow, and now he's gonna get back to using that powerful uh, tech again, so I need to heal up. Would prefer to set up uh, more strength on Surge so we can finish this thing off, but unfortunately I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm going to throw on Diminish in case it's already worn off, or I forgot to cast it for some reason. But yeah, we uh, definitely need that in place. But yeah, the giant gloop in the version that I was looking at before uh, the strategy for it was it would use Iceberg when it was low on HP and you cast any uh, red innate color uh, element on it. In this version now, it's set regardless of HP to start casting Iceberg as soon as you've used three red elements in battle in general. And then it will continue to counter every time you use another red element which means all the strengthens and stuff like that are just going to make your life a lot more difficult. So I would recommend avoiding that now, even though I was recommending it before. 
And we get the common drop with the Scravitone. The rare drop is a Hellbound, which doesn't really do anything for us anyway. In the dream sequence, this is the only one of these things we actually hit. Now it's the final statue that gazes around things for some reason. Now all the enemies have respawned. What I'm going to do is because I have to go all the way around anyway, is I'm going to backtrack to whew, just barely. I'm going to backtrack downstairs, save. And now that I have all the elements, and I do have a backup way of getting volcanoes later. We're just going to have to change up my schedule and how I plan on doing things a little bit. But yeah, I'm going to go downstairs and save real quick. And then I will be right back. Okay, we're all saved up and ready to go. Let's just pop on here and head in all the way up. Still weird that all this really weird advanced technology exists in these ancient ruins, but I guess that's par for the course with uh, any RPG. Right, that all seemed to correspond to what was going on here. That's a really cool transition. I changed my mind. I, I, I don't want to bring Kit anymore. What do you mean? Now I have no choice. Anyway, that's all for this one. And I'll see you guys next time.